what's going on everybody so today we are going to work on the car we are going to install a, a three-piece like universal type of every car front lip uh, because my front lip have fell off on the freeway i wanted something there for the meantime until i could figure out what i want to put over there a lot of people do and don't like it um from what i could see my issue is the pointy area. So with the pointy area, the piece that I have, it's like a, a U shape, may fit more of like the ones that don't have a pointy area. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a little skeptical at this point, but <laughs> it was 40 bucks. So I thought I'd just give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll just unscrew it off. So let me show you. I got these things. So I'm going to show you what the sides look like. It's gloss black. And to tell you the truth, it's not that bad. It's a little bit on the thinner side, but it's, it's not that bad. This is the part I was worried about. See how it doesn't have a pointy area? So it may not even look right, I should say. So we shall see. It, it looks, from my measurements, it looks like it fits. But... The pointy area where my front is, a little worried about this part. And I've seen a lot of these videos, but they're all on JDM type of vehicles. I have seen them on chargers because they too also have um, like the, the not so pointy front. But because mine's a little special, we shall see. So now let's move the car out. I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna work in the front, pretty much inside the, the garage. So this is a three piece put together. Doesn't look bad, right? So that is the situation. <laughs> So this is what I have so far. It's pretty even, so the pointy end meets with the middle. It's right there. Back around. Sides right there. So now, so I see an issue. I pretty much have it where I want where I want it to be. So here's a problem. See how we have like a little dip right in there? I don't know if you can see it. Well, if I push up, it's not gonna, it's not gonna meet at all. Even if I do something like that. So, it's gonna leave a gap. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't know if I have too much of that airflow flowing through, if it's just gonna be too much force and it's gonna just pop off. Hey everybody, I'm just gonna install it and see how it goes. I saw a few YouTube videos because it's universal, it's not gonna do an exact fit. So there is quite a bit of teddy bit space there, but on my end, it's kind of a little bit large. So I'm just gonna install it, see how it looks, and see if I like it. If not, I'm just gonna take it off. Like I said, it was $40. You get what you pay for. <laughs> You're gonna have to do some modifications to things, so let's just start installing. It comes with a pack of its own screws. Some said it came with 3M tape. I didn't get any. There's two different sizes. We're gonna use the small ones for the little holes to connect the three pieces where I have the blue tape. 
And then the longer parts are gonna go connected to the car. There's quite a bit in here. So let's get started. make another hole farther down i don't know if i should make it or just make it while it's in there i guess since i haven't seen a camaro use a universal fit i'm the first guinea pig i think <laughs> or the first dum-dum to do it get this done and then I'll show you the after I like it but you can totally tell that it's cheap <laughs> like I said it's just for now I wanted something in the front I hated the bare look I'm used so used to there being a lip right there so I say it's not as bad close like far away but well, down Duck down and you can totally see that there's space. I don't know if it's that big of a deal. I don't know, maybe it's a good thing that there's some space that it's, you know, not as so much force. I don't know the whole thing on whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying, so. I may just screw some more. I use all the screws that they provide. If I think I may put a few more on. Like, <sighs> it's a good thing our bumpers are pretty much plastic, so you can put as many screws you want. So, I got one, two, three. Is that one? Yeah, four, five, six. And I stopped right here because there's a gap right there. What's the point of putting a screw there unless you want it to show? One. If I put another one, I may, I don't know. It's because the hole is like right there, you know? But I did put two in there. And again, I only put one. So, like I said, I don't, I don't know. I well, guess we'll do the first test when I go to work tomorrow, but yeah, there it is. Okay, so you can't even tell anything, but as soon as I get closer, look at what I see. I mean, you can't tell too much unless you're like, you see the little hole right there. You can't tell too much. You can see the, the gap. Looks kind of tacky, but what are you going to get for 40 bucks? It's not that bad, right? So I think I could dig it for, for a while until I figure out what type of chassis mount or what I want to do to the front. It's not going to go to the 6th gen conversion. Calm your tits. We ain't doing it. But I will for sure have a front lip on there. I think I can make do with it for now. Maybe I can find something to close up the gap in there because it is kind of noticeable a little bit. 